Let's learn how to add a one tap marker to written instructions so we can use voice controls, row reminders, and smart counters. I recommend you watch the intro tour part three or the set up a key tutorial first. To begin, tap setup. Tap the plus on the right side and select text piece. Pick the page your written instructions are on I will pick page two. I can rotate my page if needed, and then I will crop my written instructions by dragging diagonally across them. If you aren't familiar with cropping, please be sure to watch the tutorials for setting up a key for more information. When you're done, tap the crop button to see your cropped piece and add the one tap rows. To add a one tap marker, we need to enter the number of visible rows. I'm going to enter 25 and I can adjust that later if needed. My written instructions start at row one, but if they start on a different row, you can enter that. These written instructions count one, two, three, so I'm going to leave count by at one. If your instructions count one, three, five, Set count by to two. Now that we've entered the basic row information, we need to adjust the height for each row. Because written instructions are free form, each row can be a different height. To adjust height, start at the top of the piece. Drag the blue handle so the bottom of the first row covers the first row. Tap the next row down to select it and drag the blue handle to adjust its height. Repeat as needed for each row. Always start at the top and work down. If you need to add or remove a row, use the plus and minus buttons. Each tap on a plus or minus will remove or add a single row at the bottom. If you change the number of visible rows directly, it will reset your row heights for the whole piece. You can see that there are a few rows that are repeated. Watch the Smart Counter Row Repeat tutorial to learn how to add this information. When you are ready to start knitting, tap Knit. Pick your piece. You can see the one tap marker on the right, and when I tap it, it automatically moves to the next row. If I long tap on the one tap marker, I can see more information about my progress. I can also frog or go back one, or reset back to the top of the piece. Tap the background to close the pop-up.